What's going on everybody? This is Brian from sneakerfiles.com. Once again, recapping the news. And in this video, I have a full lineup. Now, before I jump into things, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Now, there was a few things I needed to go over. First up, I'm doing a draw with official on the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray. This draw is a chance for you to purchase at retail. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you guys can get signed up for that. Also, today at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Jordan Brand is going to unveil their Spring 2022 collection. So obviously that's not gonna be featured here. However, I've done a video where I covered pretty much all of those. Now, there might be a few that we may be seeing or hearing about for the first time, but I wanted to give you guys that heads up and in the next news video, I will be talking about all those shoes that they featured. Now, as for the highlights in this video, we have another look at the Union Air Jordan 2 collaboration as well. The Air Jordan 1 XQ is going to make a return in 2022. Now, there's a lot more from Jordan brand, a ton from Nike, and we have shoes from Adidas, Reebok, New Balance, and Puma. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. LaMelo Ball's first signature shoe, the Puma MB01, finally has a release date. The pair features a red blast and fiery red colorway and will debut on December 16th. The retail price is $125 and you'll be able to get them at select retailers as well as Puma.com. Stray Rats and New Balance will connect on another collaboration. This time it's the New Balance 991 that will be available in two colorways. One pair features purple and green, while the other comes in black, gray, and purple. Both colorways will release on December 10th at StrayRats.com. Founder of Clutch Sports Group, Rich Paul, has his own sneaker releasing with New Balance. The model is the 550, which has received a lot of popularity as of late. And while images leaked not too long ago, we now have some release details. Along with the shoes, apparel will also be available, which includes shirts, basketball shorts, sweatpants, and a track jacket. The collection will release on NewBalance.com and ClutchShop.com on December 10th. The retail price will be $140. Over the weekend, several Reebok Question Low colorways leaked, and the first one to go over is known as Monogram. So the pair features a clean and simple theme, however the most detail will land on the toe and heel. It has a Monogram-like print with Allen Iverson's number 3 interlocking. Other than that, we have white leather throughout, the Vector logo on the panels that is embossed, and then the pair has a gum rubber outsole. Currently no release date for this pair. They are rumored to release in 2022. More than likely that will be the case and the retail price will be 120. Next up is the Reebok Question Low Reverse Unworn. Now going back to the 2000 NBA All-Star Game in Oakland, Reebok designed a special question mid for Allen Iverson inspired by the Warriors. He wound up not wearing the shoes, which is why they're called Unworn. Now Reebok did release this pair which took place in 2016 and now in 2022 they're going to release the question low in the reverse color blocking so the pair features navy across the base yellow lands on the suede toe and other accents and finishing the look is a white midsole and a yellow translucent outsole again no release date for this pair expected to debut early 2022 for 120. Now this is a pair that I really like. It's the Reebok Question Low Purple Toe. Featuring a simple and clean theme, it has white throughout, constructed with leather, and then we have purple on the toe, branding eyelets, and the outsole. So for this pair, they again are rumored to release in early 2022 for 120. The Yeezy 500 Blush initially launched in 2018. Several months back, we heard that the shoes would restock once again, which was expected to take place sometime 
during the fall or holiday season. However, due to shipping delays caused by COVID, that will no longer happen. The brand still plans to restock the shoes. However, now it's going to be sometime in January 2022. Although that's not confirmed, another release date change could take place. The retail price will be 200. Nike Sportswear will bring back the Nike Air Trainer 1 with a few added details. This pair is being called Coriander. Now, it features a coriander, ashen slate, wheat, and light sienna color combination. Now, there's some added details going on here. The one that stands out the most to me is the midfoot strap, which has a buckle. The pair also has 3M reflective detailing throughout, as well as a mesh grid pattern on the panels. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a release date for this shoe. The reason I featured it is because, honestly, I think it's dope. And the rumored release time frame is sometime in 2022. The retail price will be 140. There's a lot of SB Dunks that has released and that are going to release that I'm a big fan of. However, this collaboration, not so much. This is the Polaroid Nike SB Dunk Low. Now I did feature the shoes in a previous video and we received some new images so I wanted to feature it once again. Now in my opinion, this pair has too much white. I'm not a fan of the white on the outsole. I think if they made the outsole black, this shoe would have looked a lot better. But again, that's just my opinion. If you missed the last video, some of the details this shoe has is a rainbow layered swoosh on the panels, which features Polaroid's colors. We also have co-branding on the insoles and Polaroid branding on the tongue and lace tips. The pair is rumored to release in April 2022, and the retail price will be 110 all right, so we have some LeBron 19 release dates. I've been receiving a lot of DMs asking when these shoes are going to release. I'm sure most of you have seen the news already, but if not, I'm going to recap. The first pair is known as Dutch Blue. Now, although it has a sneakers release date, I believe select retailers dropped this colorway on December 4th. This is also part of the Space Jam, a new legacy collection. And if you missed out at retailers, I'm sure they're still sitting, but if you wanna cop them on sneakers, then the release date is December 18th. The retail price will be 200. Now the next pair, I believe will be a little harder to obtain. A lot of people, at least that I've talked to, are really wanting this shoe. This is the Nike LeBron 19 uniform hook. This pair is also being called Space Jam. They were worn by LeBron James in the movie. And the reason for the uniform hook nickname that Nike gave them is because the colorway is inspired by his uniform. Now this is definitely one LeBron 19 colorway I plan on getting. I'm actually a pretty big fan of the model. Also on the insoles, it has a galaxy print with the Space Jam logo. That's also featured on the Dutch blue pair. And this pair is also scheduled to release on December 18th for 200. The Nike Dunk Low releases will continue in 2022. We have a first look at an upcoming colorway, which is known as Court Purple. Again, it features a simple yet clean color blocking utilizing white and Court Purple. I swear that Nike has released something like this, but the brand is releasing a ton of colorways regardless. Personally, I don't really care because I don't go after dunks that often unless it's an SB. And then I have to, of course, like the colorway, but this one isn't bad if you're a fan of purple and it's just simple. So I'm sure when they drop, they'll sell well. And no release date expected to debut in 2022 for 100. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I am starting to feel a bit old, but the Air Force One turns 40 next year. The model originally released in 1982. Now I wasn't born yet, but when I was first starting out on Sneaker Files, when I first started the website, I remember when Nike celebrated the 25th anniversary of the model. I covered it quite extensively back then, and 15 years later now, I'm going to be covering the 40th anniversary. Yes, for those that don't know, Sneaker Files has been around for 15 years, and 2022 will actually be 16 years. And getting back to the shoes, the brand will release certain models to celebrate the 40th anniversary. One of them will be a collaboration with Stuzy. Stuzy will release at least one colorway of the Air Force One Mid, which will come dressed in white and black. Shown is a first look. 
and it features white leather on the base. We have black leather on the overlays, ankle strap, and swoosh logo. We also have Stuzi's branding on the strap and co-branding on the tongue and insoles. Now, if you look closely at the toe box, you're going to see perforated S branding. And on the heel, we have SS as well with some jewels. Other details includes a white midsole and a black rubber outsole. Currently no release date for this pair sometime in 2022 and no retail price. An older Air Force One mid colorway will make a return in 2022. Again, this will help celebrate the 40th anniversary. And for those that don't know, this is the Air Force One mid Independence Day. Now this shoe originally dropped in 1997 and it features a white, blue, and red colorway constructed with white leather on the base. We have blue shiny leather on the ankle strap, which also extends to the heel and wraps the toe. Red then fills in the jewel swoosh, ankle strap branding, and Nike Air on the tongue and heel. Finishing the look is a white midsole and a translucent outsole. Now I vaguely remember this pair back in the day. I believe I was in junior high when these shoes dropped. I know I've seen images floating around throughout the years of them, but I have like a faint memory of somebody I knew wearing them. I don't know. Anyways, dropping sometime in 2022 and no retail price as of yet. A couple weeks back, images leaked of one colorway of the Union Nike Dunk Low collaboration. Now, it wasn't known if there would be more colorways. However, typically with Union, they at least drop two colorways of a shoe. Yesterday, official images leaked of the previous colorway that I shared. So I'm going to showcase that here, but we also have a few images of another colorway. So the new colorway has a mint green like shade as well as blue and what appears to be gray. It also comes in the same theme with a grid like pattern throughout. And with these official images, as well as the first look at the second colorway, we have some photos of the box. Now the packaging resembles that of a boarding pass. And then the pair will come with a baggage claim like hang tag. So it appears that the theme here will be traveling. I actually like the blue pair. The second colorway is decent. And again, no release date expected to debut in 2022. Out of all the pairs in this video, I think I'm most excited for this one. For those that don't know, this is the Familia Skate Shop Nike SB Dunk Low First Avenue. I promise you guys I'm not a hype beast. I have been on the SB kick for some time now. I actually have a bunch of older releases, but I did take a break from buying. And over the last several months, I have been adding to that collection. But for this pair, it is inspired by the venue, which is located at 701 First Avenue North. All the details are tied to First Avenue. The brickwork on the quarter overlays in black is also seen at the venue. The perforated stars on the toe box, that's also outside. And the purple accents, which I think really sets the shoe off is dedicated to Prince who performed at the First Avenue and was born in Minneapolis. Now I did talk about the shoes months and months ago and at that time it wasn't known if they would release. They were expected to drop in 2020 to celebrate the venue's 50th anniversary but due to COVID stuff got pushed back. But now we have a release date. So the pair is scheduled to release at select US skate shops on December 11th. It isn't known if a sneaker drop will take place and the retail price will be 100. Man, if anybody has a decent price on these that doesn't wanna charge some insane amount of money, definitely let me know. I really need to add this pair to my collection. Moving on to Jordan brand and we have a handful of Air Jordan 1 mid releases to go over. One of them is actually pretty exciting, but the first pair will actually help you keep your feet warm this winter. Now it has fur on the liner. I don't know how good this will actually work. Personally, I don't think I would like it too much. I think it would feel a bit weird, but that's just me. Other than that, we have dark chocolate on the new buck overlays. Brown leather hits the swoosh and tongue label. Other details includes rope laces, white on the midsole, and a cream hue on the outsole. No release date for this pair. They are expected to debut soon, more than likely early 2022, and the retail price will be 130. The second Air Jordan 1 mid features berry pink throughout. Now, that will actually run across the new buck overlays. The pair also features black, which hits the swoosh. 
wings, collar, jumpman on the tongue, insoles, and laces. Other details includes a white midsole and a pink rubber outsole. Now, the color blocking on this is decent. They're also releasing in women's sizing. Again, we don't have a specific release date. More than likely dropping early 2022 for 120. I know as of late, I've been featuring new photos of the Air Jordan 1 High OG Heritage in quite a few videos. Now, after this one, I'm not going to feature the shoes unless we have on feet photos, some really, really good images or new release details. As of now, we have the release date, which I'll go over in a moment, but these images are obviously our best look yet. I'll try to include as many as I can, so you could basically see all the angles. You don't have to visit sneaker files. This pair is currently scheduled to release on April 9th, and the retail price will be 170. Let me know your thoughts on this pair down below. For me, it's a definite pickup. We also have a first look at the Air Jordan 6 Low Chinese New Year. Now the images you're looking at is a sample. So it's possible that what actually releases, a few things could change, but I think overall, this is what we'll get next year. Now the pair features a spruce aura and metallic gold colorway. As you can see, we have that mint shade throughout the upper. Metallic gold hits some of the accents, which includes the Jumpman on the tongue and embroidered Jumpman on the heel. It also accents some of the midsole. The tongue and heel also features a milky finish. If you look closely on the liner, you're gonna notice a subtle design. I can't quite make out what it is. And at the time of shooting this, it isn't known if the shoe will feature a wear away upper. I know on the Air Jordan 5 Low, the pair had a tear away upper. And if you look closely at the toe box, it looks like we have like very faint lines where it's possible that the paint could wear away. Expected to release sometime in February, and currently we don't have a retail price. Before people talk down on the Air Jordan 1 Mid, in the early to mid 2000s, that's pretty much all that would release. Now I know I have some in my collection. One of the pairs that I never was able to obtain was the XQ. This pair originally launched in 2007 and was available exclusively in China. Also, only 240 pairs released, which makes them extremely rare. Now, just the other day, images popped up of the 2022 version. Yes, they are returning next year. But before I jump into that, just to backtrack a bit, this pair actually released in high top form back in 2013 and was called Ignite Shanghai. The pair features a white, gold dust, sport red, and black colorway. Constructed with leather throughout, the pair features embossed stars on the red overlay, and then a subtle design is seen wrapping the toe. On the white panels, we have another design in red, and then gold fills in the swoosh logo, wings, laces, liner, and translucent outsole. Now for this pair on the insoles, it has a 25th anniversary logo. And after doing a bit of research, 2022 will mark the 25th anniversary when Jordan brand became its own sub-brand. The announcement was made back in 1997. So I kind of wonder if we'll see more releases that pays tribute to the 25th anniversary of Jordan brand. And for this pair, we don't have a release date nor a retail price. And unfortunately, it isn't known if this will be another exclusive to China. Last up for today, we have another look at the Union Air Jordan 2 collaboration in the Rattan colorway. Unfortunately, it's just the one photo. However, I'm going to include the prior image that we have. And to briefly go over the pair, it features a mixture of different materials. We also have perforations on the panels, which shows orange across the base. That same shade of orange also hits the eyelets and the small UN slash LA logo just below it. The pair also comes with a label on the ankle that has the Wings logo as well as HO21 and Union branding. So originally this pair was expected to debut this holiday season, but they have been pushed back. There is another colorway dropping. That pair is known as Gray Fog. I actually like that colorway a lot more. And for now, no release date for the two. Rumored to release spring 2022 and the retail price will be 225 each. I know as of late, the Air Jordan 2 has been receiving quite a bit of love. So let me know your thoughts on these two down in the comment section below. Do you plan on buying? And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you got a second, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. 
And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Expect another video in the next several days. I'm sure that we'll have enough news to do one, especially with Jordan Brand's 2022 unveiling. And like always, let me know down in the comment section below what you liked or disliked in this video. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.